to help us put craft school or craft classes in the schools, but not for elementary school due to hazard and safety reasons. What are craft classes? They're classes where you can learn how to sew, knit, embroider, or even make those little keychains that I have where it's little animals on made out of beads and string. These classes would be used to teach fundamental skills for being on your own or to help make gifts for friends and family. Like that one hat I crocheted a few weeks ago. I wore it to school a couple times. It was white, covered my ears and my head. I didn't bring it with me today. I lost it in a pile of clothes. <coughs> What will happen in these classes is that students will convene to the classroom, the teachers will explain the safety, because safety should always be stressed when using sharp objects like needles. I'm not very sharp on that one, but... <clears throat> While safety is stressed before the classes, it should also be stressed during the projects. And yeah, I lost where I was going there. Sorry. How many of you actually know how to sew? Oh, it's a good portion of guys. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I made a duck, but it didn't look like a duck. I don't sew patches on it. You made a pillow before. I was in the classroom. Iron on stuff. Anyway. The teachers in the class will demonstrate the methods and techniques on how to perform the certain craft that they will be doing for the project for that week, or depending on how classes go. Then they will help the students who can't understand how to do it, and there should be a few assistants in the class because there's no way one teacher will be able to reach a class of 30 students to help them all learn, which is also good when the students who do get it help their friends. Once people understand the techniques and the basics, they could always go grab a pattern from a pile that was provided, usually beginner stuff, and then they'll work on it for those few days in their classes. The reason for the crafting class is because back in the olden days in our history, is that funny? <laughs> Way back when, was that better? Mothers would teach their daughters and maybe even their sons how to do these so they could be self-dependent when they moved out and got married. It was very basic and yet it could be used for a handful of things, like <coughs> making blankets, dresses, outfits. That's why tailors were so rich way back when, and even now, because they can make the clothes that we all wear today. It's something that will always be needed and something that could be a great gift, even if kids say they don't want clothes. Some of the dangers of the crafting classes are the sharp objects and the small needles that are used during sewing, including the pins for when you're making a dress, you have to pin the cloth to the pattern. Those needles can get all over the place if you drop them on the floor, which is why you should probably have tile floor and not a carpet floor in the class. Other dangers could be accidentally spilling other materials, like glue, should they ever take the top off. Or even when using wax for other projects, like those mosaics that I got to make during my high school art class. We used wax, dye, cloth, linen cloth, and ice water. It was really nice. 
when it came out. But working with hot wax can be dangerous. The other dangers could be cost-wise. A lot of kids might take the projects home with them and not bring back the materials that they borrowed, like they do with the paintbrushes in their art classes. Even though they are provided now, there are still some that can be broken through horseplay. The horseplay is the other dangerous part about it. When boys and some girls get a little rough, <coughs> they can break stuff and spill needles onto the floor, which can be dangerous when you're walking around. But most people should have shoes on in that class. <laughs> I'm not sure why they wouldn't. I guess another benefit for knowing these skills would you can make money off of them. You know how it's nicer to get something that's handmade rather than store bought? Because it'll have those small details made with love. Like when I made my hat, I also made another one for my friend whose birthday was coming up. When I gave it to her, she was all happy and excited. And then she's like, you gonna make me a scarf for Christmas? I learned how to crochet back when I was nine from my great grandmother who was partly blind. She was very great at it and she was always making blankets that she would donate to her neighbors and friends and family. I have one of the scarves that she made for us at home also. It was very well detailed and she could do a whole bunch of techniques even though she was very <coughs> blind. I learned how to sew from my aunt around 11 before I had to move away. Sewing was a more difficult one for me because all those needles and I'm carrying away. I do like sewing though. And I would like to thank you for listening to me. I hope you all agree. And I would appreciate if you helped me persuade schools to put that class into our curriculum. Thank you. Three sections in the summer.